would you like to know what is kundalini shakti path kundalini shakti path is something that a, it's a term that you may have heard if you are interested in opening your chakras if you are interested in awakening your kundalini hi i am preeti and i am going to share with you i have shared about this topic earlier also but i would still like to share something with you because i have not shared something about this in in some time so i would like to share maybe you know some there is some level of knowledge that is refreshed and you will be able to get some fresh perspective latest perspective on you know what uh, what kundalini shakti path is and what it can what it can do for you make sure that you watch this entire video till the end to get the entire scope okay stay tuned Now, you know if a person is awakened by kundalini that person has the power that that person can actually awaken somebody else who has yet to open their kundalini energy okay so kundalini shakti path is that you know when a person passes on some energy that is called kundalini shakti path and that kundalini shakti path energy helps some other person to awaken their kundalini and uh, yes that person is still in the dormant mode you know that person's kundalini is still in the dorm, uh, dorm, uh, dormant mode has not awakened yet and uh, the awakened person acts as a catalyst the energy that they transfer is called the shakti path it acts as a catalyst for the dormant kundalini to stir up and start you know moving upward towards it, its path meeting towards the divine masculine so generally you know everybody who wants a shakti path they just have this feeling that this kundalini energy that the kundalini shakti path has is going to be tremendously healing energy see it does not have to uh, do anything with healing uh, spiritual healings and reiki energy ki energy something like that that you may have heard all of that is a different thing if you want a healing it's a different thing if you want a kundalini awakening it's a different thing okay like you know for example if you want to become healthy you take medications but if you want to become a doctor you go and learn medicine right both of these are completely different things and so that means that awakening kundalini is a different thing and going for a healing that's a different thing so kundalini shakti path energy that is given to you it's not going to hold any healing powers yes in certain cases you know it may actually um, it may actually aggravate certain health symptoms if you are having any health problems i do i have made certain videos on this also you know about blockages and opening uh, you know opening the blockages do try to watch those videos also because yes i'm not answering those common questions here again because i have already made a video on that earlier yes so when can you expect how can you expect that you will be healed so see uh basically kundalini shakti path energy does not bring healing but when you start meditating when you start following the disciplines that your guru has given to you when you start living a disciplined life that actually makes yes when you start living on the path of yoga the eightfold path etc that is what you know starts uh clearing your energy blockages and ultimately it's going to help you to heal your body okay but anybody who has very extreme diseases you know that person cannot expect that just on the basis of kundalini awakening and having no other help um yeah any no other help or no other medication they will be able to heal that would be a very very difficult path i don't say that that path is not possible but it would be a difficult path and but yes it's not impossible so you can actually you know take the help of certain alternate medicines certain medicines certain Now, certain dif different therapies that are just going to help you to ease the symptoms, just in case if you have any. So, what happens during a Kundalini Shakti Path? Once you know your Guru has transferred a part of their energy, you know, so that you start awakening your Kundalini, you may experience light vibrations to very, very you know, vigorous vibrations. You know, uh, it, it doesn't mean that if you have, if you are experiencing light vibrations, that means your Guru has passed on only a little energy. and if you are experience if somebody else is experiencing tremendous vigorous vibrations body is like vibrating really bad 
then guru has transferred a lot of shakti path energy to them it doesn't mean that okay see from time to time this will happen because uh yes some people you know people just leave comments uh on my videos sometimes and it just makes me feel that yeah it's it's possible that you may be experiencing a lot of vibrations and then all of a sudden those vibrations they just disappear nothing seems to be happening you just feel as if nothing is happening and you are then afraid that did that activated kundalini again go into the dormant mode it doesn't mean that okay if you if your body is not vibrating does not mean that your kundalini again went into a dormant mode see it's like it's like your you know life keeps on progressing so kundalini awakening journey also it is always in a progressing mode it never goes back into its slumber again one more thing kundalini energy is a very powerful it's it's a very powerful energy and you don't have any other control over it so a lot of times you know people who are interested in opening their chakras who want to open their kundalini they ask me the question priti how do we how do we uh, control our kundalini kundalini shakti can never be controlled okay kundalini is a power it's a divine feminine power that does not and you will not be able to control it by any means no matter what you do so once you are on this path you need to learn to surrender just surrender and let go and the kundalini will work uh, will work its way out for the best of you shakti path energy you know when a guru is actually uh, passing on their shakti path energy it is actually assuring that you will have a safe kundalini awakening for anybody you know who is just randomly opening their kundalini without the help of a guru there are full chances you know that their kundalini can actually just run haywire and they will have several bad experiences uh yes on the path of kundalini awakening until and unless that person finds a guru and finds a guru that can direct their kundalini to the right channel only then that person is going to be able to have a good kundalini awakening experience and other than that you know that person is going to be a, in a path of suffering for some time till they find a good guru okay so yeah so that is it for kundalini shakti path you know these are certain things i wanted to share about shakti path i hope that what doubts you had what questions you had they got answered through, through this video if you have additional questions about kundalini shakti path let me know in the comments if you would like to share something Uh, based on i don't know maybe your experience maybe based on maybe based on your um, uh, knowledge half knowledge let me know in the comments i would like to read it if there are any questions that i would like to address them in the future videos just in case you know you have any so make sure that you like this video if you have liked this video hit the like button try to share this video with all the kundalini awakening enthusiasts and I will see you again in my next video do stay subscribed to my channel until then keep following the path of your soul's purpose because you are born for a reason thank you so much for watching bye bye